Well, MB Micah, the Justice Department says it wants the judge in this case to suspend parts of her ruling so that investigators can again have access to those seized classified documents, saying they are the very subject of the government's ongoing investigation into potential violations of the Espionage Act, criminal mishandling of documents, and obstruction of justice. Tonight, the Department of Justice is asking a federal judge to reconsider her ruling to appoint a special master to review materials the FBI seized from former President Trump's Florida estate last month. Well, I think what the DOJ appeal says to Judge Cannon is you got it wrong. You got the law wrong and we can't move forward. The Justice Department is also asking U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon, who is a Trump appointee, to pause part of her order barring the DOJ from using the documents to advance a criminal investigation, the DOJ writing in its Thursday filing, the injunction against using classified records in the criminal investigation could impede efforts to identify the existence of any additional classified records that are not being properly stored, which itself presents the potential for ongoing risk to national security. On Monday, Judge Cannon approved Mr. Trump's request for a special master or arbiter to sift through the seized materials to identify items that could be protected by attorney-client privilege or executive privilege. The DOJ had opposed that request, saying it had already completed a privilege review of the documents. The special master here is not only legally unwarranted, it causes a delay. We already know now that the national security community is not able to continue with its investigation. The FBI seized thousands of government documents when it carried out a search warrant of Mar-a-Lago on August 8th. The seizure included more than 100 classified documents, some found in Mr. Trump's office and labeled top secret and SCI, a classification reserved for the highest level of secrecy. The DOJ insists the documents are government property. Mr. Trump and his legal team claim all the documents had been declassified, but there is no proof to support those claims. You cannot have a former president asserting executive privilege over these types of documents when the current president has waived executive privilege and they're needed in a criminal investigation. It simply goes against the purpose of why we have executive privilege and it goes against Supreme Court law. All right, Judge Cannon has ordered the DOJ and Mr. Trump's lawyers to submit a list of proposed candidates to serve as a special master. Now, meantime, federal prosecutors have told Judge Cannon that if she does not grant their request to suspend parts of her ruling by next Thursday, they'll ask a U.S. appeals court to intervene. MB Micah, back to you.